Welcome back to Dr. Yates Hair Science, where Dr. William Yates practices hair restoration and many other things to improve appearances. My name's Robin, I'm the nurse here, and we're very excited to be sharing with you today a new treatment called exosomes. Dr. Yates has led the way in the field of regenerative medicine, especially for hair loss, um, utilizing PRP, platelet-rich plasma therapy, stem cell therapy, for over eight years now. Um, he is a key opinion leader for PRP therapy and stem cell therapy. Other doctors come here to train with him to learn how to utilize those therapies for hair loss, for joint repair, for many, many other things, for pain. Um, today, however, um, we're really excited about a new treatment called exosomes. It's not extremely new, it's been around for years, but just recently has been used for um, appearance enhancing benefits, such as hair loss. So exosomes are little, 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 tiny, tiny nano particles of a cell. So a cell, say a cell is this big, an exosome is the size of the tip of this needle here. Exosomes come from stem cells or from other cells. The way the exosomes that we want come from a stem cell called a mesenchymal stem cell. These stem cells are used to grow connective tissue. So connective tissue covers a lot of things in our body, but it covers skin and hair. And so we specifically want the exosomes that have been grown from mesenchymal stem cells. So these stem cells are donated and then the exosomes are flushed off of these stem cells in a sterile laboratory. And then they're processed and bundled up very nicely for us in this little vial. We're gonna administer two mLs of exosomes to our friend here today. She's gonna get over two billion exosomes. So these exosomes are helpful in our bodies to signal different processes, different healing processes. They're anti-inflammatory, so they turn off inflammation processes, they turn off different bad things in our body, but they turn on different growth factors, different growing processes in our bodies. It's very complicated. You can look on our website for the details, but we're noticing that um, with this treatment, people are experiencing hair growth at four to five weeks instead of eight weeks, which we've typically seen in the past with PRP. So, very exciting, um, not painful at all. We did do a little bit of local anesthesia on the top, but now we're gonna start injecting the exosomes and see our patient back in a couple weeks and we're gonna see some extra hair growth. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. So we just put 0 0.1, 0 0.2 cc's just under the skin where the hair follicle lives. With PRP, we know that the platelets, when they're activated, sense a weakened cell. So say injured tissue in a cartilage or in a knee, um, they can sense that the hair follicle is weakened for whatever reason. Vicky's been experiencing hair loss for several years. And she is utilizes PRP therapy with good results. She is one of many women who don't really have a medical diagnosis for their cause of hair loss. Could be an autoimmune issue, could be hormonal changes. A lot of women experience uh, female pattern hair loss, which is genetic, like our male counterparts do, but we lose it usually more diffusely around the scalp. Men, as you know, lose their hairline and also lose it through the crown and through the mid scalp. Yeah, I'm here watching. This is me, Dr. Yates, and the injection you can see is painless because we've numbed the, numbed the scalp and if you count up all the injections it's probably going to be anywhere from 20 to 25 injections. The reason that exosomes are thought to be maybe a little bit better than PRP because one you don't get the inflammation so after you use PRP usually people will get swelling, uh, maybe a lot of shedding you know just from the inflammatory process but with exosomes they're so specific for healing that 
you do not get the inflammatory phase. The other thing that people have to know about exosomes, they are safe. Um, because PRP comes from your own blood. Exosomes come from stem cells, uh, usually derived from umbilical cord or sources like that. They're tested for all different disease processes, all that. They're completely safe. And it's, always, it's also found that exosomes don't have what's called the HLA complex. That's the histocompatibility com complex that makes, if you give somebody somebody else's tissue, makes your body react. Exosomes don't have that, so mean, meaning that you can give them to anybody and there's going to be no reaction. The other thing exosomes don't have uh, when they're transferred is DNA. DNA is the uh, blueprint for everybody's genetic blueprint. If you transfer DNA from one organism to another, sometimes there's a thought that that DNA might mutate and therefore cause a problem. So you don't get that with exosomes, there's no DNA transfer. But the thing you do get with exosomes that's found that you don't get with PRP, PRP seems to diminish in actually the tissue that you give it in within, oh, about six weeks. Exosomes, they've tested the tissue that you inject the exosomes, it appears to still be working months after that, two to three months, because somehow the exosomes are able to regenerate itself uh, through a mechanism which they have RNA. And I know this is all fancy college biology, but bottom line is that it seems like the exosome deal is a maybe a little bit better than PRP. We're not sure if you should do exosomes with PRP. Some people do it with PRP. But recently, we've been doing exosomes alone just to see what benefit the exosomes has by itself. You can also do exosomes. We have a spa here, so we do exosomes on the face. If you look on the internet, there are a lot of healing studies with people with burns that use exosomes. So you can use exosomes to tighten the face, tighten the neck, under the eyes to reduce the puffiness of the eyes. And anything you do with exosomes, the results seem to be 10 times faster than anything else. Every hair transplant now, I try to do exosomes with it. We offer it, you know, as an alternative or what we call that fancy word, what do I call it? Accoutrement, you know, which is something that makes it better. So we offer that and a lot of patients are doing it and we're seeing the hair grows faster, less shedding, and that's good for the patient, that's good for me. So I think exosomes are here to say, to stay, not to here to say, I said, but they're here to stay. And like anything else, when you decide where you're going to have something done, you need to go where people have experience doing all these other things, where they're just not getting a bottle of exosomes and injecting it into your head without any previous knowledge or history of hair in general. Um, because that's like uh, you know going to a mechanic that's never fixed a car and is trying to fix an Indy Formula car because they you know have a new part. You know so you know. Use common sense. They say common sense is not common, but I'm hoping that it is, you know, and uh, come see us. We're in, in Chicago and works great. Everybody in our office, before we do something, does the treatment. So everybody here has had exosomes either on their face or their body or something. We've all had PRP. Half of us have had hair transplants. We get facials. We get everything. So to me, that means a lot that uh, everything that we offer, we do so we can stand by. And you can see the process is over. So now what do we say? Just like the sportscasters say, when people do good things, good things will happen. Exactly. Just that simple, like sports. When you do good things, good things will happen. So good things are going to happen. We'll see you soon. It's Dr. Yates and Robert.